With Scream 5 recently coming out in theaters, it's time to rank all five Scream movies from 1996 up until 2022. Like I said in my review of Scream 5, I don't hate any of these movies. I find them all very enjoyable. There is not a single bad entry in the Scream franchise. If you came to this video hoping I'd rail on at least one movie in the franchise well you're in for something completely different if you want to see that go watch one of my other ranking videos because i'm sure in one of those videos you can find me hating on a couple of movies but you're not going to find that here but either way i do have my definitive ranking of all five movies so let's get started with number five Placing fifth is the newest addition to the franchise, Scream 5. I was looking forward to this movie, and luckily, it wasn't bad. The only reason I placed this last is because it has my least favorite reveal of all five movies. Obviously, it's great seeing the legacy characters return for the first time in 11 years, and I also love the new faces. Also, as somebody who's a big fan of this franchise, it was nice to see them pay homage to the original Scream from 1996. There are some references and some easter eggs for that movie. I also think it's really great how they did not tone down on the violence like Scream 3 or Scream 1 even. This movie was one of the most violent we've gotten in the franchise thus far. It did exactly what it had to do in terms of suspense and the mystery aspect as well. But I wish they focused on the legacy characters a little bit more over the newer characters. I understand why they did that in case they want to continue this franchise with these new faces. But still, you have a movie for the first first time in 11 years, I want to see those classic characters back. It gets way too jump scare heavy too, sometimes it feels like that's their only mechanism for scaring people, and like I said, the reveal in this movie was my least favorite, I did not buy into it, I didn't like who they chose to be Ghostface, all of that was disappointing, but this is still a good movie. Number 4 Scream 3 is the only movie of the Scream franchise that has received negative reviews, and I'm not really sure why. This is not a terrible movie. It's not even bad. It's actually entertaining and sometimes good. If anything, though, it's the least original movie of the series. It does the bare minimum in order to entertain or change things up to make it feel different. The kills aren't graphic. Seriously, this movie could have aired on TNT without being edited. That's how non-graphic the kills are in Scream 3. It doesn't use Sydney as much, and there is some retconning. And the thing I like the least about Scream 3 are the characters. These are the most forgettable characters of the franchise out of all five movies. I don't like any of the characters introduced in the movie that are new, except for one, Patrick Dempsey, who was a welcome addition to the franchise despite being underutilized. I also like how this movie does everything the original two did well, even if it's not as great. It's still entertaining in that regard. And the movie tricks you with its ending reveal. It caught me by surprise. I know there is some reckoning in this scene, but it was still a good choice as Ghostface. Everything with the reveal, for the most part, was done well. Number three. What's really surprising about this franchise is that Scream 4 came out 11 years after Scream 3, and they took 11 more years in between Scream 4 and 5. Why they keep taking so long in between each entry, I have no idea. What's funny though is Scream 4 feels so much like an early 2010s horror flick with the humor, cinematography, scares, and cast. And once again, Scream 4 has a great cast like Scream 1, 2, and 5. These movies do an exceptional job at casting. They're always on point with their casting choices. And even though this movie follows the same formula like the rest, there's no denying that this movie was an upgraded look for the Scream franchise. The horror genre had changed a bit after 11 years, and it does feel different than the first three. Plus, the direction they went in with the final 15 minutes of Scream 4 was unlike anything else they had done before in the Scream franchise. It was very unpredictable. I loved everything with the movie's final 15 minutes, and I'm sure for people back in 2011 that were dying hard scream fans it was so good to see the legacy characters back for the first time in 11 years number two I think a big portion of Scream movie buffs prefer Scream 2 over Scream 1. When talking about the quality of both films, Scream 2 might be better, but there's one thing about Scream 1 I like more than Scream 2. For the most part though, it's just as good as the first movie and definitely does a few things better. Like for instance, the kills, there are definitely more kills in this movie and they get even more violent this time around. Also, the meta stuff, there's more of that in this movie. We have a long scene in the beginning 
ending in a classroom where they talk about if sequels are better than the original. Heck, the twist is inches better than the first movie's twist. It caught me slightly more by surprise than the first movie's twist. I'll give them that. But I wish they utilized the college setting more. It feels like they're still in high school over that of college except for a few scenes. They also kill Randy in Scream 2 and I don't know why he was my favorite character leading up to that point in the franchise and his death is off screen. I guess there was shock factor in his death back in 1997. I'm sure it surprised a lot of people, but they did not have to do him dirty like that. Lastly, I just prefer the cast of Scream 1 over the cast of Scream 2. Sure, it's great seeing Timothy Oliphant and Jerry O'Connell, but they don't beat the cast of Scream 1 in my opinion. Number 1 and ranking number one, as you all saw coming, is Scream 1 from 1996. This is the most iconic of the bunch and kickstarted a whole new genre of slasher films for all types of horror fans. The opening of Scream 1 is one of the most memorable moments in horror history, and the death of Drew Barrymore's character was shocking. I think this movie has the best cast with the legacy characters, plus Randy, Billy, Stu, and Tatum are in this movie. On top of that, the movie's ending twist was surprising, the first time I saw this movie, I did not see that coming. Everything about Scream 1 is iconic. It's scary, funny, bloody, and really invented a whole new genre of horror movies, and it is my favorite movie of the Scream franchise. All right, for those of you who also have your ranking of the Scream movies, be sure to let me down below in the comment section what that ranking is. It's going to be a little quiet in terms of movies coming out over the next couple of weeks until February, so I think to keep things moving on this channel, I'll be making some more rankings as well as video essays and of course as always if you are new to my channel click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you all so much for watching this video and i hope you all have a fantastic day